Hello, this is Trevor Lewis, and welcome to another video from the Voyager Middle School STEAM Lab. In this video, we're going to show you in X-Design how to loft. Loft is one of the four fundamental ways that we can uh, create shapes from sketches uh, using a CAD program. So we have loft, where we take flat sketches and we create a skin in between them. We have extrude, which is the most basic. You just take something flat and you give it a height or a depth or a width. Um, we have revolve where we take a flat object and we spin it around an axis and we have sweep where we take a flat shape and we move it along a path through space. So this one is loft. We're going to use several flat sketches. Let's take a look at some lofts. So these are all lofts that I did in X design and they're all done from really simple shapes. Um, I didn't draw anything too complex. This one over here is just two circles. I got two quadrilaterals on this guy. Uh, this one is three different hexagons that are exactly identical and exactly the same orientation, but I just connected different corners so that it twisted the surfaces. And this one is the most complicated one. And it's got a circle, a triangle, and a square. The triangle's in the middle there. Um, and if I double click it, I think I can go straight in and you can see those are the shapes that I started with. And then SolidWorks, uh, not SolidWorks, excuse me, SolidWorks is what I'd normally use, but X-Design does all the math for you and figures out how to create those surfaces. Uh, it needs a little bit more help than SolidWorks does, so we're going to go over how to do that. So let's get back to the sketches, and then we'll see how we created these from the sketches. So now we're back to just the sketches. Uh, if you want to know how to make parallel planes like this, you're going to have to watch my previous video about how to create reference planes. These ones were done in the default planes. This is the XY plane. I think this is the YZ plane. That's right. Um, so we're going we're gonna to loft some of these things together. Basically, for any of these solid creation tools, once you have the sketches, what you're going to do is you're going to go to this Features tab, and they're all right here. you got Extrude, Revolve, Sweep, and Loft. And you can make objects with these, or you can add to objects with these, or you can subtract and cut out holes in these shapes with those objects as too. So this is the one we're going to choose. It's Loft. And the way Loft works is you just click on the shapes you want. One shape, two shape. Um, now, one of the things that is uh, unique about X-Design is it's not very good at guessing how to connect these things. So right now I clicked on them both and I don't see a preview, a wireframe preview. What's happening is it's twisting the surface. It doesn't know which way the surface goes. You see these orange and white arrows here? It is, it's not sure. It knows it's going to connect this dot to this dot, but it doesn't really know how to wrap the surface. So it guessed wrong. So I just click on this arrow and I tell it, you're wrong. You want to go this, you know, this is to the left and this is to the left. And you can see now I've got those little orange preview lines. And so when I hit, um, if I hit the check mark here, it'll loft in between those lines. And with a circle, it's always going to connect that one point on a circle to that one point on a circle that defines where the circle is. So it depends on how you actually drew the circle, how it connects. These ones are both quadrilaterals, so they're also very easy to loft. I just choose loft, and I choose quadrilateral, quadrilateral. This one it guessed right, but it did. It see it's twisting it more than I want. I'm gonna just drag this corner back to this other corner and say I actually don't want it. Oh, maybe I went the wrong way there. Oh no, it is guessed wrong here. I'm gonna untwist it. There we go. It could be a little different each time you do it. So now they're they're going the dire right directions. I have I want these corners like this. I could have lofted it the other way, but it would have been a much more twisted object than I had intended. Okay. On this one, I'm going to adjust the twist. So I'm going to choose loft again, and I can adjust it a little bit by clicking on certain parts, but I can always do it after the fact too. See, now it's going straight, straight, straight up. The lefts are all to the left, but I'm going to go this way, and you can see I get a little bit of a twist, and then it's twisting back the other way. Let me move this out of the way. But I want to keep the twist going, so I'm going to go, that would be straight above the other corner, and then there's that one. If you look at that one straight above, you can see that it goes straight down. But that's the sort of twist that I'm looking for there. So I'm going to hit the check mark, and I'm going to get a twisted shape there. This area right here, you can see it's starting to get really pointy. If you were intending to shell this out, like if you were making a vase, the pointier this is, the less likely it is for it to be able to calculate a shell. So you'll be a little bit careful about making really extreme shapes. Now, on this one, I did a little bit of magic here. If you just draw a square, a triangle, and a circle, and you try and loft them in X-Design, it's going to fail. 
The reason it's going to fail is because a circle is one point that wraps around in with one segment that's just bent around in a circle. A triangle obviously has three segments connecting these three points. And a square has four segments connecting these four points. But these vertices, these points, need to line up. So what I had to do was I had to actually edit these sketches. So to edit a sketch, it's actually pretty easy. If I click on it, I can figure out that that's sketch 10. If I double click the sketch, I can get back into my sketch here. I can even select this, and I think I can just delete it. Can I delete it? There we go. So let's draw another circle so I can show you how I did this. I'm gonna go straight down from above so I can see how my triangle and my square at line up, and I'm gonna draw a circle because it's going from that triangle to that circle. I don't want it to change size too much because those are pretty close together. So I'm going to choose to do it like that. If I close this, I'm going to show you how my loft is going to fail now. So this has four segments because I added one. I'm going to show you how to do that in a minute. But then the circle's only got one segment. So when I try and loft this, and if I go loft from the bottom to the middle, it will figure out how to make those four points go. And they might not go the way I want them to. They might be too twisted or the left and right might be twisted up. But when I click this top one, I say I want to go three high. Do you see my orange lines went away? And that is because it knows how to connect this corner to this corner to this corner. But it says, what about this corner? Well, I could connect it over here, but there's no corner up here to connect it to. So it fails. And if I try and hit yes anyway, I'm going to get some weird error messages that are not very helpful and don't really tell me what to fix. But what you need to fix is you're going to double click this circle to go back into it and you're going to count and you're going to figure out which layer has the most segments and then you're going to split each layer into that number of segments. So on mine I've got four segments on the bottom so I need four segments in the middle and this top I need four segments on as well. So I'm going to use this, this tool right here where it says split entity. It says split sketch entity into multiple segments. So if I choose this and I just start clicking, I'm going to add a point. And I can be strategic about where I want these so I can twist up to them. And if I click there, now that's, that point can line up. So one, two, three, they line up. Now this corner, one, two, three. And then this corner here could go to that middle dot I added. And then I can put it up to the top circle. And then I need a fourth point over here someplace. So you can see there's four points on my circle, just like there's four points on my square. And now if I close the sketch and I go to loft, I can loft these. Another mistake sometimes my students make is they don't click them in order. If I click on the square and then the circle and then the triangle, it's going to try and connect the square to the circle and then loop back in on itself. So you want to make sure you're going from top to bottom or bottom to top. It doesn't actually matter which order you go in as long as they're in order um, because the order here matters okay and when I hit check mark I get my loft this one I definitely would think I might have some trouble shelling because this top part is really twisted so see some of these really strange geometries here so that is the loft tool and it's really useful for making these sort of more organic shapes for making things fit uh, they use this also for like modeling airplane wings. You can draw cross sections of the airplane wings and then loft them together to make those nice smooth assemblies. Um, this is one of the four main construction techniques that are right here.